apple to me when people say this <laughs> because for me and a lot of other progressives, we didn't vote for Joy in the primaries because she's too conservative. We voted for Connie because Joy has been a Democrat for less than a year. She's a lifelong Republican. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That made a lot of us really uncomfortable having her as the Democratic nominee. Like my friends and I talked about it. We decided to go out and meet her and figure out what was going on with her. She went out of her way to answer our questions until I felt comfortable enough to actively support her even if I didn't like or agree with 100% of what she said. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've noticed this divide in the Republican Party. We have our average, everyday conservatives, and then we have our MAGA conservatives, like Stitt. He's extreme. Meanwhile, Joy's just a moderate who doesn't see herself reflected in what the Republican Party has become over the last couple of years. To use your words, don't be fooled. <laughs> Joy was a Republican for longer than Stitt was registered to vote. The man cares so little for Oklahoma that he never voted for governor until his name was on the ballot. If you want to meet Joy and ask her questions for yourself, I would encourage you to do that. She has lots of opportunities. If you want to meet Stitt and ask him questions, like, good luck, because as we've discussed in my previous videos, he doesn't hold any type of campaign